We're in way, way on to State Park, where in the past uh, I've had an encounter here. We got a tree that was pushed over, and I got a whoop. Um, and then uh, that was following up on an investigation from uh, Scott, who uh, brought us up here, and who he found uh, he had a two a Class A sighting of two individuals, a mother and a juvenile, which that episode will air coming up next week, so be ready for that one. But we're going to take a hike back there. It's a beautiful day. And uh, we'll, we're going to bring you along for the ride. So let's go. No big foots. Aww. You can see here how the raccoon got stuck in the mud a little bit. He sunk down pretty deep. Aww. There's his back paws over there. You can kind of see him not as clear. But those are definitely his two front paws on. <laughs> oh, and the bunny. Hi. Hi, bunny. What kind of footprint is that? That yeah, looks like a bear. Mm-hmm. That's definitely a black bear. And we got bear, we got deer, we got little raccoon. Whoa. Yeah, that's a bear. Look at that print. Woo, doggy. That's cool. That's a big bear right there. Wow. Look at that guy. I got to get a picture of that. That's neat. Look at how big that guy. <laughs> That would be perfect to cast too if we, if we, if uh, we should. We, no, nah, we don't need to cast it. That would be. That's a perfect print to cast though. That's cool. That's a big bear. We got a big bear around here. We got to keep our, got to keep our guard up. That's a lot more recent than that other bear. So that's probably the last day. Maybe the last two, two or three days. <laughs> We're not alone. <laughs> it's so imperative when you're out looking for Bigfoot that you, when you are in areas like this, you really take time and stop and look to see if you can find any tracks. A lot of times, I mean, I know me, me too, I'll just kind of blow by them real quick, but definitely take the time. It's like a, it's, it's a perfect place to find prints. And not only that, but it also gives you a good idea of what other animals and prey animals are in the area and what kind of game animals are also in the area. So, you know, we have lots of raccoon, deer, uh, we have a big black bear, so and obviously a person. Oh, crikey! Look at what we've come across. Oh no, he's alive. Hi! It's a little black snake, I think. Hey, buddy! So as you can see, let me get a stick. I'm going to play with it. Okay. <laughs> I've never done this before. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. He's gone. As you can see, we had a black snake. A little baby black snake along the trail. <laughs> oh, we better. Why do your fingers feel funny? feel slimy like a snake. Ew. Front paw of the bear. Mm. Not too big. That one's a little bit smaller than the other one, but striking nonetheless. And that's what, you know, a lot of people are always like, well, 
where are all the other prints? How come you only just found one print? Well, guess what? We just found one print of a bear, right? And that's not because the bear teleported and went into a different dimension, right? No, it's the it's way it's the just way that's because branded. the yeah the way the where the ground is and how, where the muddy where it's muddy and so where it probably stepped. So yeah, there was only one print there. So interesting kind of little side note. So I came here, and it was the very beginning of last year, and it was like the first uh, first time I was out hiking, and I've been researching all year, where am I going to go that's going to be the squatchiest. Okay. I came up with that intersection right there, right? Oh, wow. So the next day, I'm meeting this witness, Scott, and I say, hey, take, he's taking me to a location. I had no idea where it was. Where does he bring me? Right to that spot. Right to that spot. That's crazy. Isn't that awesome? What is, like, the odds of that being? N not the zero. <laughs> I mean, there's so, like... It's got to be... It's got to be squatchy, though. Like, what other... What other... I don't know. And then, on top of that, I was out getting a game camera that I put up here, and I had something yell at me and push a tree over right across the f***ing thing on the top of this hill. Oh, man. Differently with male and female. Mm, that's a good question. I think they, they might. They say that um, uh, children are good bait and, and females are good bait. That's uh, it's very hard to to test something like that, though. You know. Right. I was gonna say, do you want to try to do a call or anything? Yeah, I probably should. Well. Yeah, I'll give, I'll I mean, I know it. there's people out there, but yeah. I don't know exactly, like, they went a different direction than we did, so I didn't yeah. know. You know what, even doing a call, unfortunately, if we get anything back, it could be those kids, so we not even, doing a call wouldn't even be worth it at this point, unfortunately. So. That's pretty. You can literally see for miles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that a cemetery? Whoa! Wild! Whoa! I don't think so. Those are, those are new flags. Oh, the flags, yeah, 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 yeah. See if you can see a date on anything. Wow, this has got to be really old. What in the world cemetery is this? 1890? Yeah, that might be right. January 27th. Yeah, 1890. Wow. How old is this guy? 78? 78. 78. Wow, this is wild. I wonder if I can see where we are. What is this one say? William Sutter? Oh yeah, this is 1870, 1880 right here. 1877 to 1880. Oh. Um, wow. This is nice. Yeah. But like... Wow. It says William <laughs> Sutter. That's crazy. Mr. Sutter. 1826, 69 years, wow. It's wild. That was really cool and totally unexpected. A Bigfoot took shelter there. Okay. Right? And you wanted to go look at it. Okay. Is there anything that you would like look for outside of footprints? 
Yeah, that, like hair. Like, right, like... Hair scat be another one. Um, obviously footprints if they're digging or anything, any remains of any other smaller animals like food or something like that. Um, you could tell if an animal's been there or not. You know, even if it's just for a night. Right. So, but that just, that, that you'd have to know that a Bigfoot were to go there. Right. And to be there. So to check every tree would be impossible. impossible. <laughs> right. Exactly. I was just curious. Yeah. That's a good question. Multiple devices. I know. We got, we got everything going on here. We got, uh oh. We got this camera. We got my phone camera. We're going to do a call. We're going to do a whoop. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, maybe. You good? Yeah. Oh, this one. You want here? Unable to connect at the moment. Give me that. Okay. much woods back here. It really is. It's crazy. You can just go forever. Okay. Well, we just heard a possible knock. I don't know what came, it was. came from there. Yeah. This is, this is why I don't go on my phone in the woods, because now I'm opening up Angry Birds 2. <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker is kind of angry. Or aggressive. Um, people are just like, oh, how come you only find, like, one friend? Mm -hmm. You know, a normal human stride is you know, the length of, like, each foot, right? So it's, sure. If, they're, if they have, you know, massive feet, and they're so tall, their stride is obviously longer. Yeah. So it would be like taking, like, me stepping here, and then me taking, like, a huge oh, yeah. step, like, yeah, so you don't necessarily different terrains. Oh, yeah. Well, they say Bigfoot has a, a stride of, like, six to eight feet. So that's, I mean... That's huge. That's that's getting over this road in one step. Right. So it just goes to, like, and that's another reason why you would only see, maybe see one, only one print. potentially find one print. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good for thought. Absolutely. I have to say, from our last attempt of a hike.